Hey, race fan, Brian Davis Races, and you can too. I just posted a video with my initial impressions on the KHS 2.9er Team Edition full suspension mountain bike. And do you know what that makes me? That makes me a mountain biker. And what do mountain bikers do? They volunteer their time to go build trails. How they're supposed to be built and shaped and sustainable and all those types of things. So let's go learn a little bit about mountain bike trails today. I'm gonna take you along for the ride. This used to be a golf course and then a community group purchased the land and they've made it into organic farming. Uh, some back to work rehab kind of work they do with people. Do a uh, organic farm share. Bike group in our area builds some mountain bike trails, which is extremely generous of them. And uh, because I'm a mountain biker now, I want to do my part to give back. So. Oh, 5%. Oh, that's cool. He's got the 10 will be dug a little lower. So, yeah. is this called a bench cut you said earlier? Yep, yeah, this is a bench cut. We actually have an area up here we could start. This sure. guy just starts in the middle, like how he eats the sandwich. He just starts right in the middle. And we're... Yeah, we could start there. So generally what we're doing is uh, along the flags line here. Got a oh, picture along awesome. where the flags are. Yeah. And that's the down the downhill side. Okay. And so we want to make, uh, you know, about three feet wide. Scratch a line here. Really, it's a 5% out slope, but it, it'll look flat to your eye. Okay. And then that helps the water. So 5% is kind of the magic number for... The Drainage, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and the idea, this is a beginner trail, so. Right. So basically, uh, yeah, maybe start here, dig this area down so it's almost level with where that flag is. Derek says I can't mess it up. I will challenge that. All right, thanks to Fox Valley Mountain Bikers and Northeast Wisconsin Trails and IMBA, all these groups are building all these trails in our area, and it's so, so important. I'm so grateful for all their hard work so step number one make sure you have land access don't just start digging a trail anywhere otherwise you're wasting your time and then some of the tools we were using was a shovel a mattock a mcleod uh, a hoe is probably the the one that i used most often um, and then i discovered these really cool trail building tools that are portable and the handles uh, break down really neat stuff big project here was building a bench cut into the side of the slope of this hill so that's what we spend most of our time doing and then other things to think about is this is a hand-built trail because there's so much foliage in this area. Uh, it's important when you're building these trails to think about drainage, and that's really where that 5% thing comes through. Otherwise, again, you're just wasting your time. If you don't build them correctly, they're not going to last as long as you need them to. All right, we got about an hour of work in, or I have about an hour of work in, and uh, I feel like I have not gotten very far, but I think that's the name of the game, my friends. Fun, if you saw my new bike day video the other day uh, you, those were those trails and they're just like a roller coaster they're just a blast uh, up or down I don't know it's probably not even a mile but it is so much fun and you can do them again and again and again and again and again and not really get old and then on this side of the ravine uh, that was also in the video there's a whole section over there and then it comes looping around here and the, the goal of this build is to close off this loop in this area so that uh, bikes don't go out into the cart path where the workers are tending to the fields and going back and forth on their golf carts working on the farming operation here so just trying to s separate um, the work from the fun I guess here there's another group of seven or eight people uh, up in another part of the trail actually let's go catch up with them and see what they're up to I'm trying to make it harder by going up down yeah oh that's a good idea I'm excited I've been on these riding these trails for ever since they were built and I was out here the other day I'm like these are so awesome I got to do something then I saw the Facebook thing I'm like yes I'm doing that he's watching and they're in their municipality I know this is a privately owned spot but like what would be your advice for approaching a landowner or an organization that has a chunk of land to let us let mountain biking share their spot the, the thing that we've found is showing that you have a kind of a critical mass of people who are responsible riders. Okay. Um, you know, when we talk to people and we say, uh, we're 30 people or we're a thousand people, it really makes a big difference as to how much um, leverage we have or how willing they're willing to talk to us. Yeah. And we partnered with IMBA. Okay. You know, so we are an IMBA chapter. Right. So that kind of helps us too to say we're uh, a recognized 
community of mountain bikers. Um, also to kind of dispel some of the Red Bull right you know <laughs> yep. stuff that it's not a, a bunch of rowdy kids it's, yeah. a, it's a bunch of old fat guys who, yeah. with a lot of disposable income right. generally speaking yeah um i know that that's been a big thing for like bentonville and stuff that you know once the the, the city realizes that you know there's a tourism factor to it. that yeah. you know that you know then they bring their wives and their kids and they spend the weekend and you know, and that a, you know, a nice mountain bike costs between three and five thousand <laughs> right. bucks, you know, that, you know, then bike shops start sprouting up and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah, it really spreads out. Okay, well, that's awesome advice. All right, I'm going to get back to work because awesome. ch chit-chatting won't get the trails built, huh? I think, that, I think that is really good advice. If you're in your area and trying to get some trails built, you know, approaching those areas, uh, those landowners, those municipalities, almost thinking it through financially first and recreationally second, it's probably the right answer, right? Especially with tax base. Tax base is certainly gonna be challenged in the next two or three years. And people working at home, right? So if, if more people are at home and they're not going into the office, they have maybe a little more time to get out during the day in towns and, and municipalities that have a place to have something to offer those remote workers, it's probably gonna go a lot further than a place that doesn't because they're if you're not tied to your office there's no reason to live in a certain spot you may as well go somewhere awesome I'm stoked on that advice that's just super interesting to think through like focusing on the economic impact I just don't know that I ever would have been thinking to put that first in that type of conversation so that's awesome all right back to work but someday I'm gonna ride through this spot and I'm gonna be super stoked that I got to build this 15 feet and I'm sure I'll volunteer again and build more 15 feet but yeah just really appreciate all the work the trail building group groups do and the advocacy and the organizations it's super important so up to my I made it to my goal making it up to that tree and I feel like it came together pretty good like, you know, you could totally ride a bike down that trail. Uh, the part I built, I feel like I'm a little concerned because I feel like water's gonna trap in that pool there. But Yeah, we can fix it later if it becomes a problem, but I expect it to compress in anyways and it probably won't become a problem. Um, Let's just walk what we got and you guys can imagine, imagine what's gonna happen. So, we'll see. All right, so anyway, we're just gonna run the trail. Da, 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 da. I see that. So that's as far as we made. So we had four grown men working for oh, two, two hours or so. And we got maybe 40 feet. The goal on the channel is to grow our sport, grow our knowledge, grow our fitness. Hopefully I delivered that to you today. If you get a chance, think about how you could build a trail where you live, or if you have some trail building tips or advice, even trail advocacy advice, leave those in the comments below. Comments really help a lot, uh, a lot. Ugh, build our community. So leave a comment. What trail do I go on, guys? Comment down below. Up into there and then back up here and then back down. Oh, cool. Yeah.